Well, I still have a couple of cuttings in the moss. I've got this one cutting of Zingarella. It's got one thin root on it, but it's, you know, the buds are broken. It's got leaves that are forming. I want to try to delicately get this into a cup without breaking this one lone root here. Let's see there. Now if, they, if the buds do break while it's in the moss and you don't have roots yet, uh, you can end up with the, um, the leaves rotting and falling off, but it'll recover. Uh, I'd keep it in the moss until the roots form. And, uh, and if, you, if you leave it in the moss too long, you can also risk having that root or well, the roots rot too from too high moisture level. That's why it's always a good idea to air, out, air, air out the container. Open it up every day for a couple of minutes and fan it and maybe fluff up the moss. Just get some fresh air in there. Let's get some soil in the cup here. Go water that in. And make sure to put the label on. And hopefully I'll watch this progress. We'll see what happens. It just has that one thin root on it, so it's not as strong as the other cuttings I have. Put that aside for now. Same thing with these McCool. They got leaves forming. Buds are broken. Well, it looks like you can see here that on the underside, a little misleading, it doesn't look like it has many roots, but they've grown on the side facing the moss, they've grown into the moss. You can see there it's just welded itself to the moss. So I'm going to have to be careful here. It's knitted itself, I guess is a good word, into the moss. Must be fine hairs on these roots that you can't see the way it holds on to this moss here. Now this, is, this can happen also with newspaper. It's probably best at this stage just to to leave it alone instead of playing with it. That's really... grown into the moss there. I don't know. It doesn't hurt just leaving that, amu that amount of moss on there. Or any amount. The moss is just going to break down anyways. 
eventually. So this is a nice thick cutting. And you know, even though you have you know, you got a bud there that's broken, and it's got the the leaf coming out, you know, just put that in the soil, it'll it'll rot away. Won't hurt. Place it in like that, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'll yeah, that's a good level right there. I have another bud that's just would be just above the soil line. Yeah, so I get that bud right there just above the soil line and this nice amount of growth here. So that'll be good. See what else I have here. It's another nice size cutting. Oh, I've got. See that I might be able to. I could cut this in half. Hmm. Yeah, I've got plenty more here. I don't know. See how blanched this this uh, this growth is here. That's just about you know that would rot off if I left it in the bin a little bit more, a little longer. So I don't know. I can just break that root off. I don't see you really could cut it here and end up with two pieces. Additional two, two cuttings, but then you know you cut, and it's going to bleed, so it's going to stress the cutting. Uh, so I think I'll just yeah, I'll let that. I'll leave that above the soil line. It'll just rot off anyways. So I'll leave that alone. So this one here was really under the moss. You could see that the tip here has has rotted. So but it has um I don't know if I'll need to plant this near the top or just go ahead and bury that. Because I do have growth up here at the top here, one bud there. So it appears I've got one hold out here for McCool. And it doesn't look like there's anything going on yet. For some reason, but I've got four others. So I'll put this back, cover it with moss, and uh, see if I eventually get some roots on this. But I'll put these in the bin and um, Hopefully they'll have the same same uh, root progress that the other two varieties there uh, are exhibiting. So this is New England gardening, taking a break from shoveling snow. Thanks for watching.